There's always a lot of garments sewn in this channel, Lifting Pins and Needles, and this is Roundup Week. Today we look at all the tops. Stay with me. Hi sewing friends, I'm Karina from LiftingPinsAndNeedles.com. Welcome to this channel that is all about sewing, limitless sewing. And today I'm excited to pick up on the Roundup Week, all the sewing that happened in 2022 here at Lifting Pins and Needles. If you're following along in the previous video, you would have seen all the dresses. I made 19 grand total, about 137 garments in the whole year different garment types and today is all about the tops. This is quite a long video so I'm not going to talk much at the beginning or the end. Please grab yourself something to drink, get yourself comfy. 63 tops, that is quite a lot. I think this is the first year that I've sewn more tops than dresses, it's usually the other way around. Knits, wovens, you'll see line art, thumbnails of the videos all about them. So there's two playlists for you to follow. It'll be super easy for you to find the content that you're most interested in. Also find in the description box some information about end of year sales that are happening. As far as I know, Pattern Emporium is running a 30% off site wide sale. Sinclair Patterns is running a buy one get one free and each to stitch has nine specific patterns on sale so all the specific the dates and everything and plus my affiliate links you'll find down below in the description and let's head in to see all the tops this is my azores top from each to stitch i have a few changes to the original design so i have a top instead of a dress the top is an original version it's just that mine doesn't have the shirting at the waist simple styling over a black skirt <laughs> very easy very simple which just makes it nice and flowy a nice loosely fitting top easy to wear it is three inches longer than the original top just because i'm taller and i also wanted it a little longer up closer you can see that i've got a really nice amount of ease at the waist and here Hips. This is going to be so nice to wear when I just want to feel relaxed. Up closer you can see the neckline, how there is a little open slit on the top with a single button loop. I think it's really delicate and from then the center front is closed. You have that beautiful front yoke piece. Corner details there on the front piece and slight gathers on the bust. At the back there is a yoke with some gathers underneath the yoke. Very slight also and I'm just really happy with the details. The neckline is so pretty although it is higher than what I usually wear. You can see a peep of skin through that little slit underneath the button loop which is really pretty. Different to what I usually sew. Finished my armholes with satin bias tape. I didn't make any change to the original armhole to make it sleeveless. There's no gaping. There's really good cover. My top is a size 14 to 16 but I could have gotten away with just a 14. I have a C cup here. And this is a top I'm going to wear a lot. I love the colors. The tropical print makes me super happy and it was a very very fun project to sew up these are the cadence tops i made my mom this is a pattern from love notions for wovens has so many options here i made her a size large with a standard bust and both of these are unglazed broderie and to make use of the scallops that were all along the cross grain i cut my pattern pieces on the cross grain so i could have them on the hem on both the sleeve and the bottom. They are slightly shorter than the original and I did have to even out that hem to make it straight to use the scallops. And the blue and the black version she has are gonna be staples in her wardrobe. She loves this type of fabric. I think because it's so pretty, you can use a simple design that fits well like this and it'll be a really, really special piece. I used bias tape to finish the neckline and that has been sewn in by hand on the inside. Mum really really wanted to have these tops and the cadence was perfect for them. This is my Jenny crossover top. It's a size extra large with a standard bust and it's a summer version. I made it with a really really lightweight and drapey ITY knit. I love the grey, black and white tones in here. I like the length at the full hip here and the slight tulip feature on the centre front. This fabric drapes really, really great. I think it's really comfortable, the amount of ease that there is here. I have the straight back hem, and I feel like the cover on the neckline is really great. I've tucked it where I'm comfortable with. The sleeves, so easy, dolman type, so there's no setting in sleeves. I've just hemmed it up and it's short, perfect for summer. The neckband is done with the same ITY fabric. It brings it closer to the body. Definitely, I want to make more of these, different to a basic knit top but it doesn't make it harder to sew. I really enjoy projects like these. They're a little bit different, not too hard. Great palette cleanser, relaxing sew. This is my patina blouse in a rayon crepe fabric, a border print. Looks like I've used a variety of matching fabrics, but I haven't. It is an extra large, and here's a closer look at the print and the button down feature. There are side bust studs there, and I did do a full bust adjustment to take it from a B to a C cup. Makes a difference for me. The long sleeves are gathered into the cuff. I've used a contrast print for the cuff and also for the bound slits. I loved thinking that up. There's also a short sleeve version with no cuff if you 
you like that here is the collar i've used the higher depth neckline there is a lower neckline option also i love how it looks how it lies super flat and the points are super neat contrast the prints on the front love that the shoulder fit is really good the sleeve pattern piece is quite large it's because the style has gathers on the sleeve cap also so it does take quite a lot of fabric here is a back view of the yoke there are two layers there finished neatly with a burrito method and the collar there are a small amount of gathers underneath the yoke i love how neat this collar looks when i lift the collar you can see the facing is top stitched it is covered by the collar it's very neatly under stitched to keep it inside neatly next time i'll add maybe one to one and a half inches of extra length i think it's a little short for me but overall i'm super happy it was a really fun project to sew and just thinking it up with a unique fabric was even more fun for me here is my aisling blouse from jennifer lauren i made a size 18 and this is 100 percent rayon it's very easy to wear and i have unofficially shortened the sleeves but kept the casing with the elastic i do have the button down and collar options here's a closer look at the mid hip length a nice amount of ease at the hips about five inches i sewed the buttons through all the layers this time and here you can see my square neckline the collar comes out of the corner and i really like the depth of this neckline i'm not showing cleavage here is a closer look at my sleeve at elbow length i really enjoy that because i can wear it in summer and this is how the collar looks at the back super neat the facings inside finish it all very neatly super fun sewing techniques it's a super lovely design that i love to sew again the bus cup options are a plus and i think the fit is really good and i'm very happy this is my savannah blouse from five out of four patterns has a really good size range and the dart that you have on the side has different cup size options from double a through double d so that's really nice it's got a really nice comfortable amount of ease i made an extra large the v is really interesting it's a soft v with a really narrow placket i have the short sleeve version i think it fits really well there you can see the yoke two layers burrito roll inside with an inverted box pleat there's a yoke that comes over towards the front i really enjoyed this different neckline it's different to other types of necklines you can see how to sew it on the channel and on the side you can see how well this c cup size bust out fits i really enjoyed this one This is my Sabu top from Itch to Stitch in a size 16. I have three quarter length sleeves in this case and the top hits the mid hip. The band makes the hemming so much easier and it looks super neat. The shorter cuff added to the end of the sleeves make it a three quarter length. And the bat wing is not too exaggerated. To make this one appropriate for hot weather, I used a light knit and the neckband option. I'm super happy with this black and white print because it'll go well with my red Quebec skirt and other colors and it'll be great for autumn and spring. A real treat to sew, super relaxing, no fuss, nothing complex here. This is my Annie blouse from Sew Over It. You can get it for free if you sign up for their newsletter. It's for woven fabrics and it only has five pattern pieces. The cutest detail here is that at the center of the neckline you have a small gathered area, relaxed fit with long sleeves. The length hits the full hip for myself and it's really comfortable. You can see that there's enough space there, super easy to wear the hem is straight this is a normal long sleeve set in with a really easy to sew normal hem at the bottom i folded it twice and top stitched a narrow hem and up closer you can see this neckline it's round i really like the depth and the soft gathers are really easy to sew with just one row of shirring i'm really happy with how the shoulders and the sleeves fit here it's a perfect width for me i had a lot of fun with this border print chiffon placing the vertical stripes on one side of the body and also having a striped down the sleeves i'm really happy i tried it i think i will make another one with short sleeves because i like the style and the feet it's really comfy and cute and this neckline detail is really fun to sew and totally worth trying out for yourself for sure This is my second camo top from Itch to Stitch, size 16, this time in a lighter athletic knit that is more suited for warmer weather. I love the black and white as always and the main pieces are exactly the same as per the original pattern with one exception. It is the same lovely fit, the same asymmetric overlay and hemband that brings the top closer to the body. I love the length here. I think this V neckline is so pretty in the front and the back and of course it's very apparent here that there are no sleeves, they are missing. And this was totally intentional i drafted my own bands to finish these armholes and love the look i always love a sleeveless top i really can't help myself making things sleeveless even though the wrong side of my fabric is white 
this area is all hidden away with the neat understitching. The sewing techniques in this pattern are really really great and I'm really glad I made this work for hot weather too. It adds another unofficial option and I absolutely love it. This is my first kami tank. I made this as a muslin but it turned out super wearable. I have the shelf bra with swim fabric and power net in foam cups I have in there make a lot of difference also. I finished all the edges with binding as per the original but then I ended up swapping the fabric straps for some bra straps that I found in my stash it's super firm it is adjustable there I don't mind that the straps are black because I feel that it gives me a lot of support I have a little bounce test for you to laugh at I feel pretty secure that I can move and do everyday things and even a light jog very comfortable here is my second cami tank from green style in navy sewing is a little bit different because I've sewn my shelf bra to the cami right sides together and flipped it to the wrong side I have all the layers in that shelf bra the swim fabric the power net and the foam cups I have clear elastic in the seams and I modified the front there to fit this one inch firm bra strapping that I found in my closet it makes the cami super supportive I'll do the silly bounce test so you you can see all in the name of sewing science I feel that I could do a light jog in this I'm very satisfied that I was able to make a cami that is supportive enough that I can wear for a variety of occasions super happy with how it turned out here is my Elevate overlay from Green Style. I love the back crossover detail that is different to anything I've ever made. I've chosen the sleeveless version with hem bands in a really cool, wicking, fresh, athletic knit. There are other options too. You can leave the hem open and tie it up and not put the hem band. And of course, you can sew in sleeves. I like that the front neckline is not too low. It's just right. At the back, the short piece of binding from one side to the other helps the back stay in place and not open up. I think there's a good cover on the armholes here. Here's a little look at the binding super neat technique I love sewing it and this blue top will fill a gap in my wardrobe this is part of my perfect fit mini capsule it's only five garments this is the second one and I really enjoyed sewing this different for me style with a peep of skin at the back that I'm very comfortable with you can also make this with other fabrics it doesn't really need to be for active wear but I do want mine for working out this is my new Lincoln top from Love Notions size extra large here you can see me undoing the last button of this diagonal placket on both sides I love this ponty print it's super comfortable and this top reaches the high hip length there is another version that is cropped here's a closer look at the placket I have six buttons on each side it's all very neat my buttons are sewn through the placket except for the last one there is an actual buttonhole there the top is not too loose or boxy I'm very happy with the fit I chose a sleeveless option and there's a nice amount of cover here on the arm I've got the scoop neckline there is one that's slightly higher I think this is very nice I like this depth and I have binding inside very neat I'm super glad I tried this new to me style I had a lot of fun sewing it it's not hard at all and it's a different style different techniques and the best thing is that I used less than a yard of fabric and that is golden This is my muslin for the power sports bra from green style and i accidentally cut the lower neckline i definitely need the higher neckline i would love more coverage there as well as a little bit more on the armhole maybe about half an inch i have the full racer back option i do have clear elastic in all the seams to give it a little support as for the layers it's fully lined but on the front pieces i have interlined also with power net i haven't used power net on the back only on the front and i find this band has the elastic inside extremely comfortable the cups fit amazing i have a 40 band with a d cup size i'm super happy <laughs> i love these colors and it's almost there almost there that's what the muslin was for now i can perfect the final version this is my second version of the power sports bra from green style for this one i actually use the higher neckline option which i should have done since the beginning and i've added half an inch higher to the armhole cover both in the front pieces and the back. The straps that you see here are wide and they come from the back racer back piece. The band with the elastic, extremely comfortable. I think this one provides adequate support for light to moderate activities. It's definitely not for running. It's fully lined. The front also has a layer of power net. So I have three layers in the front and in the back, I only have two layers, 40 band and a D cup size. I love the cover here, the feel, the comfort, the colors make me so happy and I can see myself making about a thousand of these 
I'm very satisfied with this make. There you go, you can see my version. I hope it motivates you to make your own. This is my muslin for the corset bra from Green Style. I played with stripes here, had a lot of fun. This is size H with the medium bust cup size. There are five pieces on the front and one on the back. I'm really happy with the fit here, totally wearable. The only thing I do is raise the armhole a tiny little bit. It's fully lined. I've also interlined it with power net. Very comfortable to wear. This is my second corset bra from Green Star in size H, medium cup. I love the colors here, it is fully lined. It's also interlined with power net here for extra support. For this one, I did raise the armhole by 3 8 and it's got a really great cover and support there. I love the color blocking, it's super fun. I love the fit and the look, very comfortable. The best thing is that it's a scrap buster and this is gonna match my spark leggings, super fun project. This is my first Galicia top from Itch to Stitch. Mine is a size 14 with a C cup, blend to a 16 hips. The gathers on the neckline from far away, you can't see them that much. There's also a round neckband that's super pretty and there is a button placket on the back. This is a green rayon linen blend that is perfect for this style. Up closer, you can see that the Galicia blouse has waist studs front and back they are optional but i love them because they just make it fit so much better so why not this is a long sleeve you can also make it three quarters and it's gathered into the cuff there you can see the vent with the lap binding that is always so beautiful to look at and so fun to sew there's also one button there and the hem is folded up twice very neatly the neckline up closer is so so pretty the gathers are so delicate all along the raglan sleeves and the front neckline the back does not have gathers and it's so so pretty i'm just showing you the prettiest details up closer so you can really appreciate them. Such a satisfying make, it fits amazing, different to any style I've sewn recently and this fabric is so gorgeous to wear as well as this color, a solid on me, hard to see but I enjoyed this one, I love this green. This is my second Galicia top from Itch to Stitch, also size 14 with a C cup blended to 16 at the hips. This is a precious, precious fabric I've been hoarding for over a decade. It's a beautiful print, so I decided to simplify some of the features that weren't really going to be seen that much. The most visible one here is that I have a short sleeve instead. Otherwise, it's the same lovely details, same length. Up closer, you can see the darts. I have also sewn them here. Why not? It just fits so much better when they are sewn. Comfy ease at the hips here. This mystery fabric that is very lightweight with a sheen takes the gathers very well simplified the sewing process a great deal and we're not missing out that much and at the back there's no button placket it's just a simple seam at the back and the neckband was cut on the fold instead of having that be two pieces here is a closer look at the short sleeves they are also gathered into a cuff i did modify the cuff from the original version though to make it a little wider to fit this area of my arm it's so gorgeous i think this is one of the most beautiful blouses i've made in a while i was just smiling the whole way through i was sewing it cutting it just so beautiful so delicate the colors here the look i just feel amazing in this style This is my first Ascent tank from Green Style using a super lightweight athletic knee. It feels like I have nothing on. I love the style with the curved hem. I have the racer back option, but you can also sew a U back. It is a little shorter in the front than in the back, and there are deep armholes here. And this is the long length. There's also a cropped version. The side seams here are overlapped, super easy to sew, a little bit different to other tanks. I have one of my Me Made Power Sports bras that I made sure to have good cover around the armhole. That means that I can wear this open tank style super comfortably there is a tiny bit of skin showing on the sides underneath the bra and i'm fine with that i have finished mine with bands but there's also a binding option and i love this look it's super fresh i really appreciate the extra ventilation here it's super comfortable and the ease is very nice i always always wanted to try a style like this this is my second Ascent tank from Green Style and this navy will go with many of my make. I've got it paired with some sundial leggings 
and a matching power sports bra this time i've done the u back this fabric is a tad heavier than the others still very light and very comfortable i'm really happy to show off part of my power sports bra even if it's just the sides because i'll never work out in just a sports bra you can also see it at the top behind the u back option this time i used binding that takes a little longer than the bands but it looks super neat and i love the result i can't wait to get this one in the gym blue outfit is giving me all the feels one of my favorite colors mine is a size 8 blended to eye hips for the tank and the only fitting adjustment i did was add one inch at the hip shorten and lengthen line this is my third ascent tank and you can see i've got some print in the front it is a stretch mesh that is not that see-through and at the back i have a contrast black athletic jersey i have a little fun yoke detail that you see up closer later it's not part of the pattern and i'm always loving this long length because it covers the bottom real well i love the style with the open sides here great and welcome to let air in when you're working out and here's a closer look at the racer back and the little yoke i had a bit of fun with i used the bands to finish the neckline and armhole i love that technique again i'm super happy to wear this lower armhole tank because the bra that i have covers up the sides really really well i'm not concerned <laughs> i'm very comfortable and this is possibly my favorite one not just because it's a print and it's fun but also because this mesh was a tiny scrap that would have been good for nothing else and now i have it made into a garment and i love doing that This is my first carefree tee from Pattern Emporium. I sized down one to a size 16 just because this is an oversized. I wanted it a little closer. I have a special embroidered knit for you to see up closer. The ease at the hips is super comfortable. I've used the shorter length option here. There are two longer length options. There is a curved hem and I've chosen the lower neckline option. There's always a higher crew neck. See this fabric up closer. It is like a broadery anglaise woven fabric, but it's actually a neat fabric. It's got amazing texture and color it's so soft and the wide binding is a really nice technique for the neckline now this fabric is really floppy so after pressing it and achieving the twist i gave it one or two tiny invisible stitches there by hand to keep the twist in place such a lovely detail i think this monochromatic look is a bit much for a lot of people but not for me it goes perfect over my sporty lounge skirt in the same exact color and i know i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of it This is my second carefree tee from Pattern Emporium. I also sized down one size just to get a little closer fit, although it's still nice and loose. This is a really lightweight athletic knit fabric that is amazing. The print is so nice and I've paid it over just regular ready to wear leggings in navy. So this is great for working out and I used a regular cuff you'll see up closer. I've got the second length option here so I made sure that this top covers my bottom entirely. I always want that option when I'm wearing workout leggings because they are so fitted. I have the lower neckline also. I really enjoyed the wide binding method. I think it looks really neat and for this one I used the twin needle to top stitch it looks very neat fake cover stitch look but it's just done with the sewing machine and because i knew my fabric was really floppy i sewed my regular cuff and just left it i didn't fold it up because i know that if i fold it up it's just going to flop and fall over it actually extends the sleeve length which is not a bad thing super happy with this version i know i can work out in this but also i could swap the leggings and maybe put a denim skirt and some heels and this this one can go a long way for lots of occasions This is my first Brisbane top from Itch to Stitch. This was actually a muslin. The original version does not have a sleeveless option, but this is sleeveless. I just modified the armhole a little bit. But I wanted to test the feet and practice all the construction techniques on the neckline. This is a top. Mine is one inch longer than the original. It is a fitted design. So you want fabric that is not too clingy. This is a medium weight athletic knit. And here is a look at this beautiful keyhole neckline. It's so beautiful. There's two yokes here on the top and it makes a little triangle shape. And then there's a rounded neckline on the bottom so pretty the lining inside means all the seams are enclosed really love that really happy with this after sewing this muslin i was super super excited to make my final dress versions that you'll see next such a unique design i really enjoyed sewing it because it was really different
this is my son's second game day jersey black on black color blocking just two different types of cotton lycra paired with the thomas track pants also this is a really lovely black t-shirt that is not the basic black t-shirt he's a split hem on the side he really enjoys that and i love it my son really likes black t-shirts and i'm glad i was able to make a special one this is the first game day jersey i made my 15 year old son it's black and red i love the color blocking it's got a crew neckline i made the sleeves longer with a cuff this is actually meant to match the thomas track pants i made him a few days ago it is a pajama set i think it's lovely the game day jersey is perfect as a pattern for a pajama set also a super lax one i love this this is my game day tee i did some color blocking with gray black and a subtle amount of red I chose the overlap V neckline option and I have short sleeves with one red stripe. The ease at the hips is super comfy. You can see the split hem here. It's a little longer on the back than on the front. My top is two inches longer than the original. On the video on my channel, you can see how to sew this overlap V neckline. That's really fun and is really pretty. I have gray yokes front and back. Here's a closer look at some of the details. This single red stripe on the sleeve was super fun to sew. I took my time with it and I love how it turned out. And I've really been enjoying sewing so my own active wear this color combination here is one that i want to add on and make more pieces to match so i'm really happy to have started on this little project super fun This is the first Aria shirt I made. It's a really lightweight cotton. I love the print. This one is shorter than all the rest because I didn't make length adjustments here, so it's slightly shorter. It's really lovely. It's got the all-in-one collar, the short sleeve with the cuff. You'll see the details up closer. Super comfortable. There you can see the button placket. There's a nice amount of ease at the waist and hips. This is not a fitted shirt. It's really nice. You can see the curved hem. There is a box pleat at the back underneath the yoke. This is my Aria collar. It's the all-in-one stand and collar piece. So it's much more simple to sew. Meets in the center, but I would never wear it like that. I'll just wear it open. Probably with one or two buttons undone, it's still not showing anything and it's nice and comfortable. It lies really nicely on the back also. Here is an even closer a look and it stands up it's really pretty it's just as pretty as a traditional collar it's just a simplified version i think if you've never sewn a collar before and you want to try this one you will be really successful and you'll be really happy and you can have a really nice shirt i made the full bust option and this one has a side buster that fits really well it gives really good shaping on the side here is my short sleeve cuff it's really neat the way it's sewn i love it it's just so neat and so easy to do and it looks really pretty i have a really good shoulder fit and sleeve fit here i really love the style i'm really happy i was able to use a cotton for once and i just love the way the collar feels and how easy it was to sew all around win this is my second aria shirt this time with long sleeves beautiful chiffon that goes perfect with my recent allegro pants that i made in linen i really like it this time it's lengthened a little bit to suit my height and you see the details up closer i've got the all-in-one collar option up closer you can see the real colors and the length that i have a little bit longer two inches longer than the original length and the sleeves are one and a half inches longer super nice amount of ease there i do have a cami underneath still plenty of space super comfortable here is the cuff i put two buttons and my sleeve tower placket super proud of that it, it takes quite a while to do it in chiffon but all is possible and it's very neat and i'm very proud of how they turned out here's a closer look at my all-in-one collar and stand never wear it closed at the back we have the yoke and the box pleat of course showing off my placket again and my collar i would probably wear it with two buttons undone like that i think that is how i would wear it love the colors different type of animal prints i don't usually wear the typical animal prints but when you have terracotta in there it's a different tone of color and i so love this blouse it's so beautiful it was an effort to sew and i'm gonna treasure it for years to come so so pretty you can make the aria in chiffon if you want a challenge I made another Aria shirt. This is the heaviest and the most structured fabric I've used. It's a linen rayon blend. Love it in black and white. This one is sleeveless. It is two inches longer than the original and I really like the feel of this one. I have the banded collar option. 
the zero flow in this fabric, but the design doesn't need it. Here you can see the details up close. I've got the same amount of ease. It's just a more structured look, which I also like, and especially in this black and white print. My banded collar here, you can see it closed. I would wear it open, and because it's a heavier fabric, it stands up a lot on its own. I think it looks really pretty that way. There is my yoke. I also used a lighter fabric for the inner yoke layer to avoid bulk. Very happy. And here it is up closer. You can see it's not really touching my neck. There is a nice amount of space there. So, so happy with this one. It's very nice. I know this one, I can also wear it open like a light layer. Black and white a classic you can't go wrong i really like it i made another long sleeve area this time in a heavier crepe with houndstooth love that and i made all the contrast details in a rayon linen blend in green i'm just really liking green at the moment and i wanted to highlight the features there against the houndstooth really lovely this one's two inches longer than the original has a nice comfortable amount of ease that you can see here up closer. There's a lot of wind right now. <laughs> the fabric is quite drapey though, so it's really lovely. You can see the curved hem there. Up closer, here are the tower plackets on the long sleeve. I love that detail. It's very neatly sewn and I think it looks amazing in the green. The cuffs are really neat. I would have loved to put two buttons on the cuff, but I didn't have enough buttons. Up closer, you can see my banded collar option. I really like it. It's really pretty. I would wear it open most of the time, I think, but I can close it, but it's not gonna constrict my neck. But visually, I like it open much better. Very neat. It's lying really flat, and I'm really happy how that looks. Here's a closer look at my neckline and my metal buttons. I think they're really pretty. Here is the yoke. I have a lighter layer inside and another look at my placket that I'm so proud of. You can see how to sew that on the video on my channel of course. I've shown that in great detail. I do have the full bust option with the bust start and I'm really happy with the fit here. This is a slightly more formal type of blouse. I love it. I know I could wear this open also but I've just styled it with a skirt here and some green shoes. Love it. This is my 12th cadence top. I made it in a teal color viscose with Swiss dots. It's super pretty. On the sides I didn't sew the vents. I just sew the sides normally. This is one of my favorite woven tops and I have really dramatic sleeves which is one of the many options in this pattern. Up closer you can see the ease around the hips. It doesn't have that much ease but it's not fitted either and there's a back seam for shaping. I really like that. I chose a three quarter length sleeves and at the end I added the flounce detail. Very nice. I have the scoop neckline. I finished my neckline with bias tape made from the same fabric. You can also finish it with a facing. I really like the shoulder fit everything about this one that's why it's one of my favorites and i made it so much this flounce is just really really cute and i like it at this length because it's not going to get in the way when i'm eating or doing things really 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 pretty This is the first Le Monde top from each to stitch that I made. This is a 14 with a full bust. This is a high hip length. I did add one and a half inches to mine. With the stripes, you can really see the shape of the pattern pieces and how there's a type of princess seams that come from the shoulder. Up closer, you'll see the sleeve details. This is a dolman sleeve. Here with my arms extended, you can see the dolman shape. You can see how on the sides, the fabric actually ends up being on the bias. And I think it's a really interesting design. Best fabrics are the flowy ones. There is the scoop neckline finished with bias binding. And on the top of the shoulders, you have a small area that is gathered. It's not too much. And with flowy fabrics like this one that is 100% rayon, it's not going to really poof up and give you a lot of volume there either. I think the key, for me at least, is using really soft fluid fabric. Here's another look at the dolman sleeve. It is slightly gathered into the binding at the hem, so it's not gonna be super open. And I really love the style, it's super different, really interesting to sew. And a bit of a twist on the typical dolman sleeve, which is super simple. This one just has those extra details that make it really worth sewing and wearing. This is my second Le Monde top, this time in a really silky crepe. It really does look like silk, but it's not. It's got the same features as the other one, only because it's a print you really can't tell from far away. Really floaty, fluid fabric, which is special for this design that has a bit of volume at the shoulders and around the sleeves. This is a high hip length. 
I did add one and a half inches to mine, but it does sort of look like intended. Here you can see the fit. It is nice and roomy, but still has lovely shaping with all the seam lines. Princess seams that come from the shoulders in the front and the back. So it is a really nice fit. A little fiddly to sew with my fabric, but totally worth it. Lovely design. I really enjoyed sewing something different. There is my scoop neckline and the finished with binding. There are the gathers on the shoulders that lie super nicely and flow very nicely with this fabric. This is not your typical dolman sleeve and I love all the details added. Using a fluid fabric is going to keep all these features delicate and not voluminous in my opinion. This is my first Bali top from Green Style. It is designed for knit fabrics and it is a fitted design. As you can see, the shape of the neckline is a V and there are different height options. I have the higher V neckline option because I want more coverage. Finished with a neckband and it's super easy because there's a center front seam there. Also sleeve options. I've got a really cute pedal sleeve there on mine. Up closer, you can see the detail at the center front. There is a center front seam. There is a casing where I have a tie. That is what makes the ruching happen there and I think it's really really cute mine is a little bit longer than the original i think it fits really well as you can see it is fitted it's not a loose type of design i think it looks really nice with this type of skirt i have my ties coming up from the top of the casing but you can thread them through the other way and have them come out the bottom i think the pedal sleeves are really really cute and you'll see them up closer they are two pieces and they overlap over each other you can see there it's really cute there are normal short sleeves and long sleeve options there you can see my tie if i pull the tie a little tighter the ruching would be more accentuated but i think that's fine i really love it i love the ruching in the center front i think it looks really pretty i was really happy after i made this one so i knew many more were coming This is my second Bali top. It's also a single brush poly with a really nice print. I have the ties in the front also. The only difference with this one is that I have a long sleeve. I really love that ruching in the center front. I don't think it's too dramatic and I think it's quite subtle. This is the easiest V neck band you could ever sew. It's just a seam down the middle. I like the depth of this V. It's not too deep. It's not showing anything. I have the ties coming out of the top. The same as with the other one and this is going to be great for wearing under jackets now that the weather is getting a little cooler the shoulder and sleeve fit is really good for me i'm really happy with that another look at my ties and i'm just really happy This is my second title top. In this case, I made it with long sleeves. My rayon spandex also has stripes, as you can see, and I was also able to cut the back on the bias to get this really cool chevron effect. These are not your regular stripes. I think they're so pretty and so striking, and black, white, and gray is always a classic. It is a fitted top, as you can see. You can see the princess seams fit really well, and part of that back comes over to the front. Same scoop neckline. I prefer the bands. You can also finish the neckline with binding, and you can see the chevron everyone's there at the back also a little bit of work to match those seams but so worth it i have to say that a scoop is always my preference so the fact that this pattern has it at that depth is perfect i didn't need to adjust anything and i'm really really happy with this top perfect for the weather that is getting a little cooler here in brazil as we head into autumn and winter This is my first title top from Love Notions. I used a double brush poly with a plaid print and I cut my back piece on the bias to get some chevrons and diagonal effects on the side coming towards the front. This is the only way I'll sew plaid. I really don't like plaid going all around my body horizontally but if there's a bit of bias on the sides then I'm all for it and I do like these colors with the green and the black and the beige. The matching on the back took a while. I hand basted that seam to match everything scoop neckline is nice it's deep enough it's nice and neat with the bands and have a short sleeve you can see the plaids are matching at the back as well and i really like it it's a really comfortable top to wear i think the style is super pretty it's not basic and it allows you to play with bias and stripes and plaids 
all in good fun. This is my first Sentosa tank from Itch to Stitch. It's designed for knit fabrics and I made mine in a really floaty ITY. I really like this asymmetric neckline that you'll see up closer and there's another really cool detail on the neckline. It's a pretty relaxed loose fit. Here you can see the ease at the hips and the waist, just a very wearable comfortable piece. I like it over denim and I'd also like to make one that is a bit more sporty like for working out. Here you can see the neckline up closer, how the neckline is asymmetric. I really like that shape there and it's really fun to put together, finished really cleanly with an all-in-one facing inside. So the neckline and the armhole seams are all enclosed with facing, really really nice. And up closer you're going to see that on the neckline we have some pleats. There are three pleats that are asymmetric also and diagonal and they are top stitched down partially on the front. That contributes to a little bit of ease there on the front and I think it's really pretty and unique. I really liked putting that together and it wasn't hard to sew at all. I like the coverage on the armholes and the neckline is not low or high, it's just perfect. Really excited to sew up another one after making the first one. This is my second Sentosa tank from Itch to Stitch. It's a red athletic knit. It's super light. I love how it feels on the skin and I could wear it with linen pants and some heels. I could also wear it for working out and I love garments that are gonna work for anything. I made this one about an inch longer than the one you saw previously. A lot of ease at the waist and the hips. Up on the top you can see this asymmetric neckline. I made a little change and instead of doing the all-in-one facing I just put a neckband there. I finished my armholes with binding. They're really clean and you can see the three pleats coming from this asymmetric neckline. I think it's really cute. With a solid fabric I think you can see this detail more than with the print. Here you can see the V point up closer with the band right there. I have to be honest the only one facing is much easier than doing it like this but I just ran out of fabric and didn't have fabric for the facing. So this was a way I could get a red tank because I really wanted a red tank <laughs> and I really love how it turned out. It's just as comfortable and I know I'm gonna enjoy wearing it for whatever type of occasion because it's gonna serve me for everything. Really easy top to wear, there's nothing really fitted or uncomfortable. This is my Lyric Peplum top that I made with a linen rayon blend. There's 55% linen in there beige color it'll go over this beautiful dress this is a tessa sheath dress i really love the fit this is a pattern i've done before so that's why this time i had fun and i transformed those bust darts into princess seams on the front the bodice hits my waist maybe if i want to button up here i can do it once i love that for this peplum i can wear it on its own but also like a little jacket over fitted dresses i bound my sleeveless armholes with self-made bias tape as well as inside the neckline and i love it yeah i'm just showing you the princess seams because i'm so proud of them just for a bit of fun and to do some top stitching on this linen. I think because linen is a more structured fabric, it can be more versatile for it to be a little jacket like this. So that's what I love about linen. I really, really like this top because it's a really neutral color that is gonna go over a lot of things. And I think it looks really nice over this Tessa sheath dress that I have. Here is my same Lyric Peplum top and I have it over my printed linen allegro pants. I think if you wear loud pants you have to wear something more subdued on the top like this beige top made with a linen rayon blend. This time just worn on its own. I have a little cami underneath though because the fabric is a little bit sheer. You can see the ease at the waist is nice and comfy and the c-cup bodice fits me really well. Though you can see my princess seam there that was a modification I made to the pattern. I love the depth of this v-neckline and the armholes. It's just a great pattern to make over and over with different fabrics. Yeah I'm not done with this one I know I'm gonna make it more times. It's a great tried and tested pattern for me at this point. This is my first Auvers top from Itch to Stitch and I used a silk blended with poly half and half, really pretty in a dark green. You'll see the features up close at the back, you have a shirt tail hem, the front has an overlap feature with an elastic there. Only in the front hem there's two layers as you can see there. The elastic is tucked in underneath those two layers and this neckline crosses over each other. At the back you have a curved hem, you can manage the depth of this crossover, I have a little pin right there or you can use a snap. At the back there's a yoke with a box 
Dogs Pleat. The yoke has two layers and it's finished with a burrito roll. So shoulder seams and the back seam are enclosed. And there's a side bust that there is a standard and a full bust option. The crossover neckline and the sleeveless armholes are finished with bias tape inside. And I've used the full bust option. I think the fit is really great. I think it's a really different look and a drapey fabric will look the best with this style because the drape in the front will just look amazing. You really don't want to use anything structured for this style. This is my second Alvarez top, really lightweight and flowy, 100% rayon. It has amazing drape and I think the front crossover feature looks amazing and I really love the details. I really like everything about this one. I love the colors. I've got it paired with my red Quebec skirt also from Itch to Stitch. Here's a closer look at the front. Really, really like this. It's so, so easy to wear. There's nothing tight or uncomfortable and the curved hem at the back. There are the sleeveless armholes. The binding technique is super cool. My V neckline with the crossover there is held together with a little bit of hand sewing. It's at the depth that I want. A closer look at binding on the neckline. It's very neat and I really like this technique. I'm sure I really want to make more of these. It doesn't take up too much fabric or time to make. It's only three pattern pieces and it's a really nice different look. Perfect for all the hot weather. Super breezy and flowy. Very beautiful. It is my tempo sundress but hacked into a peplum top instead. Love the colors of the print and you'll see it styled here with two different skirts. One is a burgundy suede and the other one just a blue denim skirt. You'll see the details up closer. I had already done the fitting and made two dresses in the past so doing this one was really relaxing. You can see the bodice reaches my natural waist. I have a shorter peplum skirt. Mine is 10 inches and up higher you can see how the neckline fits. I really love the sweetheart neckline and the wide straps that cover the bra. This is a linen and cotton blend and I have the facings inside very neatly. I have hacked it to have a princess seam on the front instead of a side bust that. You can see how to do that on my channel if that is something you think is fun to do. And my shirt panel at the back is double. I really love how this fits. I think it's a really special top. I had been saving this special fabric for something like this and I'm super happy I made it again. You know, most of the time a dress pattern that you love can also become a little peplum top like this. And this is just amazing. I really love how it turned out and it was a really fun project. Easier to handle with staple fabrics like this, you usually find the experience really enjoyable in your sewing. my first salt whistle and for this one I made the peplum version. This is a navy rayon Swiss dot, really comfy elasticated waist, peplum hem, square neckline and I've got the short puff sleeve. I've paired it over one of my Sibyl Illusion pencil skirts. It has a lot of colors. I really like the mix of the colorful skirt with the solid top here. Really enjoyed sewing this one and you'll see the details up closer. Here you can see the scalloped hem, a little bit of blousing at the waist there. There is an elastic inside a casing, it's super comfortable to wear. Scallop inside is finished with a really neat facing. Very fun sewing technique. You just need to slow down a little bit for them to turn out really accurate and symmetrical. Not something you do every day. I really like the amount of ease that this pattern has everywhere. Just comfortable to wear, but not completely oversized. It's a style I really enjoy. Here is my square neckline. I've always liked the square neckline. It's got a really neat facing inside. Bishop sleeves have a little casing at the hem. And that is how it looks at the back. Here's a closer look at the sleeve and it's all very neat and very enjoyable to sew. I have top stitched down that facing for this one just for comfort and I don't need to worry about that facing moving around inside. Lovely, after finishing this one I was super excited to get going with a printed dress. I'm always excited when I really love the first version I make and Love Notion's no exception. I see many more to come. Super comfy, love it. This is my first solar top. From each to stitch in a size 16, I blended into a 14 waist. It's a really dizzy print. You'll see it up closer in a bit, black and white. This is a rayon spandex. There are only two pattern pieces here, both on the fold, easy to sew. I did add one and a half inches of length to mine just to account for my height. I really like the fit. There's a little bit of space at the waist but pretty much fitted. I really like the v-neckline and this type of sleeve that is just an extension from the front and back piece. I made the v with contrasting leather look jersey just to highlight the pretty shape and here up closer you can see that gathering detail on the upper chest. There's a little bit of elastic in there and I think it's a lovely lovely detail that gives this simple top, something special. I really love the fit of the sleeve right there. There's no 
pleats above my bust i think the fit is amazing it takes so little fabric and the technique is so easy this one took about one hour to sew including all the hand basting that i do and all the extra steps so definitely a great project i made the cami pattern from the luna loungewear collection and mine is a little different because i've got a lace overlay just in the front a little bit of details here that you'll see up closer it's black it'll be worn with everything and here i've got it paired with one of my Sibyl illusion skirt collection you can see the lace on top of my knit i've hemmed it normally i've just treated these two layers as one on the front it was super easy to put together and this will be a great piece to wear on its own or under little jackets. I really love that square looking neckline but that has the V at the back. I think it's really really cool. It was not hard to sew. I really enjoyed putting all that binding together and it's a pretty unique cami that I know I'm going to enjoy wearing. Here's a closer look. You can see I've used the scallops from the lace and I have the V underneath. I've used my leather look jersey for the binding. I have some bra rings and bra strapping there. Super love it. I'm so so glad I thought this little hack up. It's a little bit different using the same pattern and then this can turn out being not so basic and a little extra. Love it. I made a second Luna Kami during the year. I've got it here under a matching set Aria shirt with summer key pants in linen and I have the grey Luna Kami underneath. This one does have a V neckline. It was a hack I made to the original design and I really like it. It's a really good basic. And here you can see the Kami also under another Aria jacket in this opportunity paired with my Legato jeans or patterns from Love Notions. It's a great, great basic and I'm glad I was able to make it in quality fabric because I hadn't found a nice grey cami in the shop so it's always nice to make your own basics with better materials. This is my 10th La Bella Donna. I've made all the options available but the top is the one I mainly make. I've dressed it down, just linen pants, some loafers and a small bag. Love the look, super casual, super comfortable and you'll see the details up closer. You can see that the La Bella Donna is not a boxy design. It does have some shape. It comes in at the waist, comes out at the hips. It's got a curved hem. This short sleeve has a cuff, super comfortable to wear, easy to sew. I just can't wait to show you this applique. <laughs> I'd had it in my stash for such a long time and I'm so glad it's finally here. It is a scoop that is wider than the original neckline so I had to adapt it to fit this shape of the applique. You can't really see my bra strap because I'm wearing a bra that matches the color of my skin so it makes it pretty invisible so I don't need a special bra. It's not too deep, I'm not showing any cleavage. It's just pretty and gives some decoration to this top while keeping it super easy to sew and not so basic this time. <laughs> you can see how to sew this on my channel. It's super easy and it's just something different that you can try with a top that you've already made so many times that you know fits and is easy to sew. You can add a fun little detail like this and I'm so, so happy with this version. I was singing the whole time I was sewing it. I made my second sweet cheeks sweater in an athletic knit without the sleeves so it is actually a top that can be worn in summer or whatever weather it's not for winter I've also got it paired with my sporty lounge skirt from Pattern Emporium in stretch velvet really love the curved hem there I also used contrast black for the hem bands the neck band and the band on the end of the sleeve nice and roomy easy to wear here you can see how much ease I have at the hips, the little split hem that you achieve with sewing these hem bands. I really love that. Super fun to do. And here's a closer look at the neck band. You know this pattern has other options, funnel neckline, a crew neckline in different heights, but I've always been a fan of the V, so that's what I've done. Really enjoyed that V, I think it's really pretty. And you can see the little band that finishes the end of the sleeves there. It's just a drop shoulder, super easy to sew. And I'm really, really happy with this one. I love patterns that can work for any weather because you can make them in different fabrics. And this is my summer version. You've already seen my winter version in Hound Tooth Sweat and Knit. Here is my Harmony blouse in a black rayon linen blend. 
It is sleeveless, it's an extra large with a standard bust. Original length here, the only change was lowering the bust up by a little, three eighths of an inch. And the top is really simple, the neckline is gorgeous. You see the details up close, you can see how much ease there is here around the hips and the waist. Super comfortable to wear, but then you have a really nice fit up on the top with the buster and the center back seam gives it really nice shaping at the back. Here is the neckline up closer that has an applique. The fabric was trimmed away from the back, but on the inside it's finished neatly with a serger. It's been stabilized, so it's a really durable finish. have it over a really old teal linen pencil skirt that I love. I love this look. I would go to church like this. <laughs> this is my mom's lovely harmony blouse. It's a size M with the full bust option. No changes here except for lowering the bust up by an inch. This is a really flowy rayon, 100%. It's very light, very flowy. Love the style, sleeveless, nice and fresh to wear. She chose this one from my collection, so she's really happy with it and so am I. This is the first besties tee that I made. It's a really fun ITY knit, very fresh and comfy to wear. The length here is the top length which is just the regular length not cropped not extra long and I have the V neckline option and the circle flounce sleeves mine is at size 18 Australian you'll see the details up closer I'm really happy with the amount of ease that the besties tee have I think it's just right a little flared but it's not full swing so there's not a ton of volume there here is a look at this V neckline it's an overlap V neckband technique which is really nice and easy to do circle flounce sleeves that are super pretty the statement sleeves this is not a t-shirt I would want to wear under a jacket just wear on its own and show it off it's pretty out there it'll stand out I'm sure <laughs> and I'm really happy with it and it was so easy to sew This is my second besties tee, totally different this time. <laughs> the pattern has a lot of options and I used a green rib knit. This is a banded version. This is a long sleeve version and the low squared neckline, which is really pretty. I think this goes really well over my vacation vibes palazzo pants in rayon. There's a little bit of green in there, so I really, really like this look. And up closer, you'll see a little bit of the details. This one is a little shorter. The banded hem brings it closer to the body, which I think is great for a while wide leg pant. I have long sleeves and I added my own little cuffs there as something extra just to make the sleeves a little longer and to make hemming the rib knit easier. Here you can see my wide square neckline. This is a lower option. I really love how much skin is on show here without showing any cleavage, so I'm really happy with this. But you can sew a higher squared neckline also. The band is easy to sew because there are actual corners here. Here you can see a closer look at this neckline. You can see it's rounded, so it's really, really easy to sew. And those are my little cuffs. I love them. So nice. Really, really love the style. Of course, there's others. There's so many options here. And depending on your fabric choice, you can make this for winter or for summer and everything in between. And I really love the style. This is my first take the chance, but I made it as a top and not a dress. All I did was add a short tee, a little bit longer than the short tee, but all the rest is the same. I've paired it with my sporty lounge skirt, also from Pattern Emporium. It's 100% rayon, lightweight. It is a border print and I use the selvage edge for the skirt section of this top. Super comfy, ease around the waist. The bodice hits exactly at my waist. I use the tall length option. Shirt collar is so easy to sew. The sleeves fit really well. I have the regular short sleeve. There is a wider one and I have a contrasting yoke. It's all from the same fabric though. I haven't used different fabrics. Love this collar. I think it's really easy to sew, really approachable. I would never put buttons all the way up and you can put ties at the waist if you want to, but I just left mine loose so it's just 
breezy. I'm just really happy with how this fits. If I would have had time, I would have made more of these tops. I know I'm gonna wear them a lot. Here's a closer look at the upper part of my Arlington top. It's a ribney in burgundy. I have the mock turtleneck there and a little detail on the shoulders. It's just a little bit of fake leather. It's a neat and it's amazing for details. Here it is on. I've got it paired with one of my Allegro skirts. It's a great denim and that button placket you see on the skirt is also fake. I like doing fake things that look like the real thing. Here I have it on with my Aria shirt that I made as a jacket full of patch pockets. That tower placket on the jacket is also fake. I'm all about the fake things that look real. I love this outfit. I love that burgundy under there. It's one of my favorite colors. Super happy to have a really pretty basic in an amazing color that I can pair under this jacket. The mock neck is not tight on the neck and that little detail is for me and if I wear it alone people are gonna see it. I had a lot of fun adding that on to the Arlington. Here's my black rib knit Arlington Bowman inspired with that placket on the shoulders and the gold buttons. I really enjoyed doing that. It's super easy to do and I did the same detail here on the cuff. Really, really easy. You can see how to do that in the sewing segment. Love adding little details like that. And I've just made a simple outfit here. One of my Sybil skirt collections, pencil skirt, I made the other day in a stretch suede. Love the buttons on the shoulders and the cuffs. Got some gold booties and a gold little bag. Just having fun dressing up. <laughs> I really love this. I know I can wear this under jackets and things, but if I want to show off these details, I'll be really, really happy. And yeah, it was just so fun to do and so pretty. If you have extra patterns lying around, consider adding them to a really nice pattern like this one, just for a little something extra, you know, why not? Absolutely love it and I'm really happy. This is my fourth Presto tunic. Hand-picked this quilting cotton print for this beautiful top. I've paired it with my brand new Legato jeans and it was such a lovely, enjoyable project to make. After making this one with rayon and crepe in the past, which are fabrics that take a little bit more care. Here you can see it's a little shorter. This is not a tunic. It does reach my full hip but doesn't cover my bottom. I did add the back darts that are optional. I think that is important with quilting cotton because it's a fabric that doesn't really drape. I have side slits there and I finished my neckline with bias tape. You can also add a banded collar if you want to but I think bias tape is so easy to work with if you're using quilting cotton. Here is a closer look at the placket. I didn't do button holes there and the front insets have a seam and two corners there at the bottom where you need to pivot. Easy to do with quilting cotton and I have a sleeveless option here. I love the cover. I finished them with bias tape in the same way I did the neckline so that it's exposed. Every detail and feature here was just so much easier to sew smooth sailing I love how it turned out and that I can use quilting cotton for such a beautiful design like this. this this design is perfect for fabric that is a little more structured like quilting cotton this is my all-in easy fit shirt from Pattern Emporium, size 18 Australian, no fitting changes. I do have a cami underneath my shirt right here because I can also wear it open. <laughs> this one still has a nice amount of ease but not as oversized as the Ocean Days. I really love it. It's a linen rayon blend in a really cool zebra print. I have short sleeves and with this one up closer you'll see I also have the collar stand and collar. You can see how to do this on the channel. All these shirts have long sleeve options but it's summer here. I wanted something fresh. <laughs> At the back we have a yoke. I think it's a nice look as well over a cami. I do have patch pockets with this one. I really like the shape of the patch pockets and I'm just really really happy with this shirt. It's just really really gorgeous. Really enjoyed sewing it. This is my Ocean Days shirt. I made it in chiffon. It's a really colorful print. I love it. Super flowy and I really like these types of really lightweight fabrics for 
a design like this that's oversized I have the really curved hem option you can sew one that is a little less curved and I have the collar stand and collar option there is a more simple collar you can also sew the placket for the buttons is integrated I have a short sleeve here it is a drop shoulder style and at the back we have a yoke the yoke looks wider because of the drop shoulder style it's a really really neat design and I'm glad I got to sew it you can sew these types of things with chiffon you just need a little bit more patience and i'm super happy with this one i've got a cami underneath of course because it's she i made a size 18 australian no fitting adjustments required i know it was a lot for you who watched the whole thing thank you and you are rock stars otherwise come back and watch this you know watch it in little parts if it's too much when the new year starts i'm gonna choose a couple of makes that made me the happiest during the whole year so I'm still thinking about what the winners will be I'm sure there'll be a few tops in there make sure you subscribe to this channel I still have all the toppers and the bottoms and plus a few other videos for makes so there's quite a few still coming for you before the year is over that's all from me today enjoy the end of the year bye